In this example, we're asked to integrate 0.5 sine x multiplied by sine 2x dx. This is probably the first example we've seen where we're asked to integrate with two different arguments of a sine function. Well, in order to integrate this, we really need to make these arguments the same. And there's a property, and you're not expected to memorize this. If you need this, it'll be given on your formula sheet. Property of sine, or the double angle formula for sine, is the sine of 2x is equal to 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. So since we need to make our arguments the same for our sine functions, we're going to start by replacing sine 2x with this. That gives us the integral of 0 0.5 sine x multiplied by that, which is 2 sine x cosine x and a little simplification here two and a half cancel we end up with the integral of sine squared x cosine x dx now I'm going to write the answer here without the u substitution if you're stuck and you don't see how we're going between these two steps I want you to try to work it out using u and du Okay, this is how we're solving it but you should be getting to the point by now that this really jumps at you this is sine this is going to be our u that gives us this exactly as du so all we're doing is integrating u to the power of 2 which is u to the 3 over 3, but we're really not using u, it's sine. So the final answer is just sine to the 3x over 3 plus c. Again, not sure how someone would go between those two steps? Then fill in this part over here. Put in the u substitution line, then see that this is the result. Since we did that one a little faster, I'm just going to check the answer here by taking the derivative. So the derivative of this is 3 sine squared x over 3. So that's the derivative, if this is y. Now, 3 sine squared x is not the derivative, is it? That needs to be multiplied by the derivative of sine squared, which is cosine x. And derivative of c is 0. Okay. Let me just talk you through that again, since it was a little disjointed. Derivative 3 comes down, leaves sine squared x, multiplied by the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. So that gives us derivative of sine squared x times cosine x. And that is exactly what we had here. To show that that's the same as this, we have to do this substitution but backwards. So we're going to have to put in a half. That's where that comes from. And then a sine and a cosine gives sine 2x. So we can show that this and this are the same won't do that in case this has confused you, so don't worry too much about this. Focus on just getting the integral.